Hey everybody, Derek Tura here, owner of Housetop Media. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Blue Microphones Encore 300. It's a professional uh, handheld vocal mic. Something you need to know about this mic, it's a condenser mic as compared to a dynamic mic, which is uh, what most of you are probably used to using for live performance. Uh, the difference is there, the most important thing you need to know is that a uh, condenser mic is going to require what's called phantom power. It's a 48 volt uh, power signal that your mixer or a separate device has to send to the, the microphone to power it up. Uh, most microphones don't require power, so if you're interested in this mic and you're going to get, get this mic, just check and make sure first that your mixer does have phantom power. Most modern mixers do, so that's not going to be an issue for most people, but it's something you want to check. The Blue Encore mics come with a uh, canvas case that's actually felt lined uh, in, inside and really helps protect the mic, keeps it from getting scratched up, and also even cleans the mic when you're putting it in and out of the case. The second thing we want to take a look at is actually how the microphone looks. Um, I'm really impressed with the designs that Blue Microphones has been coming up with for their Encore mics. They've always been known for being very original with their designs, but the Encore 300 really has some unique features. One is on the front, you'll notice the logo is surrounded by a opaque background, and uh, that actually lights up from the phantom power that's being set from the mixer, so you know when you are getting phantom power because that logo is actually going to glow. Uh, you can't really see it much if it's light and bright in the room, but um, if the room's a little bit dimmed, you'll just see a faint glow from it. It's really just kind of cool looking. Um, the other really unique thing about this microphone design is the grill design, and you'll notice that um, it doesn't quite look like anything else you've ever seen before because there really is nothing else designed like this. So it's one of those things you're either going to love or you're going to hate, but it's definitely really unique, and personally I really like the, the look of it. It's something that people are going to notice and say, you know, hey, what, it, what kind of mic is that? Because uh, nobody's really ever seen anything like it before. Um, really cool looking, it also has the ribbed handle that the other Encore mics, the 100 and 200 have. It just feels really comfortable in your hands and if you get sweaty palms or anything it helps you just hold on to the mic better, it's not going to slip around in your hand as much. Overall, really nice looking mic, I really like it a lot. Next up I want to talk a little bit about the durability of the mic and when we're dealing with live performance microphones durability is really going to be a concern because uh, oftentimes you're setting up or tearing down this mic is going to be uh, maybe on the road and you want something that's going to last and something you can drop and not have to worry about breaking. Now um, when I saw pictures of this mic before I got it I was actually pretty concerned about the durability just seeing the way the grill looked the way it tapers down to a more slender bottom at the grill. And uh, I was afraid that if you dropped it, that the grill could actually break the mic capsule right off. But um, if you take a closer look at it, you'll see there's actually a reinforcement ring that is directly connected to the grill and makes it so it doesn't move at all. And uh, the rest of the mic, the handle is one solid piece, and then the uh, end attaches with a screw-on um, screw mechanism. It's all really, really solid. It's something I wouldn't be afraid of if it fell on the ground. Um, you're going to be able to pick this thing back up and keep going. It's really, really durable, especially for condenser mic of this quality. Usually these mics you have to be uh, a lot more careful with them, baby. And I would say I'll be as careful as you can with it, but if it falls or something like that, um, you're going to be pretty good off. Uh, it's, it's a really well put together mic and I won't be worried about this thing falling apart anytime. Next up I want to talk a little bit about the sensitivity of this microphone and just compare it to um, an SM58, a Shure SM58 because that's what most people know. So just to give you a feel for the sensitivity of this mic, because it's a condenser mic it is more sensitive and so I'm going to show you that now. Test, 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 check, 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 test, 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 check, 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 test, test, test.
Hey guys, I uh, need to apologize, had to add this in after the original video shoot. Um, I'd taken some video testing the handling noise um, and recorded the audio coming out of the mixer and my computer, but it turns out that I did not hit record, so I didn't have this file, so I just need to talk about it here. Um, the basic uh, overview of handling noise between comparing the Encore 300 to an SM58 is there's substantially less handling noise with the Encore 300. But um, if you're used to using condenser mics, you know that that's not a surprise that's typical within condenser mics, that you're going to have less handling noise with a condenser than you are with a dynamic mic. So that's one of the natural advantages of the Encore 300. So it does a good job, but it's not a big surprise, but um, compared to other dynamic mics, it's going to do better for handling noise. take a look at the polar pattern and frequency response of the Encore 300. Uh, polar pattern, you'll notice this is a cardioid mic, which means it's going to pick up most of the sound directly in front of the mic and a little bit of sound from the sides and then none from the back. Uh, this is good for rejecting feedback from stage monitors if you're using a monitor speaker directly in front of you. Uh, this mic isn't going to pick up much sound from that and that's what would cause feedback. So, um, Pretty basic cardioid pickup pattern. Frequency response, you'll see it's really extended beyond what a typical dynamic mic can do. Uh, typically a dynamic mic like an SM58 or even the Encore 100 or 200 are going to drop off pretty drastically frequency response wise what they can pick up past 10 kilohertz. Um, on the Encore 300 you'll see there's a slight dip around 10 kilohertz but then it jumps back up and remains pretty flat up beyond 15 kilohertz. Um, now uh, for reference, the human ear can only hear up to about 20 kilohertz, so this is going up to the upper limit of what the human ear can even hear, and it's, and it's picking that up. On the lower end of things, for bass response, it's pretty flat all the way down to even below 70 hertz, um, so really good bass response. This is going to make uh, male vocals sound really rich and warm. Um, that high frequency response extended is what that's going to add is more of a lifelike uh, clarity to the sound that you typically hear in studio recordings um, or like a DJ on the radio. You can just hear more crispness and uh, a more realistic sound to their voice. Um, so between having the extended low frequency response and extended high frequency response, you get a really crisp, clear, lifelike sound that has a rich warmth to it. Um, just really good and a big uh, benefit of a condenser mic over a dynamic. Plosives are the sounds you make when you make the sounds of the letters P or T, P, T. Uh, basically the sounds that could make you accidentally spit on someone that when you say them, um, those are plosives. Now a condenser mic naturally has a disadvantage at um, hiding plosives and the sound is picking up because it's more sensitive and because it has extended frequency response. So it's actually picking up more of what it's really hearing. Um, and that sensitivity in the case of plosives is actually a disadvantage compared to a dynamic mic. Dynamic mic is not as sensitive and it's also uh, not picking up as high frequencies, so although it sacrifices some of the clarity, um, it's not picking up so much, much in the plosives. Um, now the way to work around this, and you should be doing this anyways, is just learning proper mic handling techniques. So uh, learning how far away from your mouth to hold the mic, uh, learning how to properly pronounce um, Explosives when you say them, um, just learning how, uh, just basic singing techniques and microphone handling techniques will allow you to um, avoid any problems of having uh, uh, more susceptibility to picking up plosives. Oh, to see the dawn of the darkest day. Christ on the road to Calvary Tried by sinful men Torn and beaten then Nailed to a cross of wood to sum up my review, the Blue Encore 300 is my current favorite mic for handheld performance vocals. At 200 bucks, it's really a good price and just blows away everything else anywhere near the price range. Um, if you can't afford the 
Encore 300. I definitely recommend checking out the Encore 200 or 100. I did a head-to-head head -to -head, head -to -head review of the 100 compared to the SM58, so if you want to check that out. So you can see at the $100 price range, um, that definitely came out uh, in the lead against the SM58. And at the $200 price range, there's just nothing even close to the Encore 300. It's competing against mics that are uh, more than twice its price. And just, it sounds really good. <clears throat> it looks really good. Um, it's a really good price. So if you're, if you're able to afford it and um, uh, looking for a great vocal microphone for a church or band or whatever, definitely check it out. And uh, give me a call at House Top Media. My number is 607-542-9156. And I'll make sure to get you the best deal if there's any special deals going on at the time. And uh, we also have this available on our website at www.housetopmedia.com. And you can check out the store section there and look under mics and you'll find the Encore 300. Either way, um, I'll get you the best price, get you free shipping, and uh, get it to you shipped out usually the same day you order. So um, love to talk to you and have a great day.